It's a quick flight to the Crown Brook Airport and then a scenic one hour drive to Fernie. I'm stoked to see weather conditions have changed so much in that time. It's starting to look like Uller is looking after us. The next leg of the journey is my favorite part. Nice. Riding a cat through a magical cedar forest to arrive here at Island Lake Cat Skiing, my home for the next three days, and I get to go cat skiing! Woo! <laughs> Island Lake has a reputation as a world-class leader in cat skiing operations. Located just outside the town of Fernie, BC, and only three hours from Calgary, Island Lake offers over 2,000 hectares of impressive bowls, steeps, tree runs, and gentle rolling terrain. Island Lake's three lodges provide a choice of standard or luxury accommodation, and its French-inspired Rocky Mountain cuisine has a reputation as the best in the business. This week, Edith is joined by renowned ski journalist, Leslie Anthony, and we join them as they reflect on day one at Island Lake. <laughs> Best day ever? What do you think? Uh, I don't know how many of those days you've had this year, but I haven't had any, so that was my best day ever. Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, 50 centimeters of new snow, yeah. and then it totally clears up. When does that ever happen? Mm -hmm. Only in people's dreams. Absolutely. So started the day with transceiver orientation, some safety stuff. Yeah. And then? All right, good work team, let's go skiing. Yeah. Into the cat, up the hill, and we're in the snow. Yeah, it was as good as it gets, you gotta check it out. I can't believe how much terrain they have here. Well, it's fantastic. 7,000 acres of privately owned land, which is unique to right. cat skiing operations. That's probably why they've been able to do so much glading here. That's exactly it. And what I love is that I never got treed out, you know, throughout the whole day. Beautiful rhythm to the skiing within the glades. Yeah, every time you move around a tree, there's another alley just to shoot right down. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help thinking that this has got to be the best that you guys have had so far this year. It's unbelievable. It really is. You know, we've been waiting for the snow to fall and it finally happened. We got a really good storm cycle and now it's a beautiful bluebird day. So we're just, um, the snow safety crew is out doing some heli bombing and ham bombing today and hopefully in the next couple of days here we'll get up higher and so for today we're skiing in the trees and beautiful beautiful powder. No kidding, well Fantastic. we're pretty much living every skier's dream today. It's awesome. So you get to travel a lot with your job. The Lizard Range, it's so spectacular. How does it compare? Well, there's nothing like it really that I've seen and I've seen a ton of mountains. I mean, it's unique, you know. It's, it's, it, is the, it's, the character of Island Lake Lodge is the Lizard Range. That's right, they're so majestic and you know what, with with the changing weather conditions, they're constantly changing as well and always just so beautiful. All skiable? All skiable, yes. We have high drops up into the kind of the run out of yeah. Wolverine, right up to the top there in face shot with the first bench you see, and then up behind to a rock there in Keisha. So, did you have a favorite run today? Well, they were all amazing, I've got to admit. But, um, you know, we got over onto the sunny sides, right. into the um, Enchanted Forest, and like the glading rocks here. And so, perfect turns, nice gaps between the trees, sun filtering through, had some snow, like some sky diamonds kind of hanging in the air. It was, it you was. You were having magical. some magic moments. I was. I, I had know a lot what of magic moments. My favorite run was, though. My favorite run was in gun barrels when you were following me with a helmet cap. Right. You know why? Because I was in front of you for the first time all day. <laughs> Thanks for the face shots, though. I had a lot of face hey, shots. You're welcome. Through there. <laughs> so, 
So you mentioned earlier that you haven't been here for 13 years or so, and I'd, mm -hmm. I'd imagine that it's changed quite a bit. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, the great thing about Island Lake was every time I've come, there's been a huge amount of change. I'd imagine. You know, this place defined Catski. This set the benchmarks for service and terrain and all sorts of other things, and they've managed to reinvent themselves constantly. That's what I love about this place. Right, yeah, it's definitely sort of exclusive luxury but cat intimate. skiing. Nice. It really is 36 yeah. guests maximum mm -hmm. and you know 7,000 acres of terrain so pretty much guaranteed fresh tracks every run. Yeah. Well we were today that's for sure. I know it was and amazing we drink to out there. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Hey wait a minute the cameraman. Yeah. We've been trying to get the shot all day. <laughs> Come on in here. <laughs> Come on, lock There's it and load it. There's a shot for you too. All right, ready? On yeah. three, two, two one. one. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>As the sun wakes the mountain peaks, I stumble over to the Tamarack Lodge for a delicious, energy-packed breakfast. I'm going to need it. A full day of skiing will demand lots of fuel. Then it's over to the Bear Lodge in the boot room. I get my very own boot dryer and cubby where I get to keep my ski gear overnight. This is a first and my fave. All the things that need drying and that I need for my ski day are right here waiting for me. Loving the convenience and attention to detail. There's no question that all the little luxuries here add up to an amazing experience. But the best part of it all and why we're really here is this, the skiing, and we get to do it all day. Come on, let's go! <laughs>
the runs off of West Baldy, um, Big Woody, Little Woody, Silver Glade, and Hoopla, they're all a beautiful fall line, very consistent fall line, you know, about 1,500 feet, and just beautiful pitch, perfectly spaced trees, and just wonderful. After an amazing day of skiing where the runs are long and your coffee and lunch break is the cat ride up, you're going to want a bit of pampering and relaxation to recharge for the next day of mountain play. Nothing like a luxury spa treatment. The food is out of this world and over my shoulder there is this expansive wine library. They've even got their own private label, the Three Bears. It's really good and look, it's, the label has the Three Bears on it and these mountains were overlooking us throughout the day. So really special. Like they have not missed a detail here, a full luxury cat skiing experience. Island Lake receives a variety of media exposure and a lot of it comes in print form. They themselves have published two books. One, a cookbook, which includes many of the original recipes of the meals served over the years here at Island Lake. And the second, a coffee table book encapsulating the history and allure of this magical place. expert here. You met Leslie Anthony earlier in the show and uh, Leslie's actually written a few books on the subject of skiing. Hey? I haven't. I guess I'd call that a labor of love. <laughs> no <laughs> kidding. So powder is something that we all crave. We're all searching for the next best snowy powder line. What is it about that? Well I, I think other than the fact that it's just pure unadulterated fun there's something transformative and, and transmutative about powder and everybody seems to come back to that when they're talking about it. No doubt and I'm sure that throughout the years and your research on that you've come across some pretty neat quotes on the subject. I well. have actually I've got a treasure trove of them. You want me to share a few? I'd love to hear some. All right. The true skier does not follow where others lead. He is not confined to a piece. He is an artist who creates a lovely pattern from virgin and uncorrupted snow. What marble is to the sculptor, so is a ridge covered in powder to the true skier. Snow, whose beauty has been destroyed by a multitude of peace skiers, does not record the passage of another. Only soft snow records the movements of individual skiers, and it is only in soft snow that the real artist can express himself. Powder skiing is the finest variety of skiing there is. To us, powder means freedom, with an emphasis not on how you do it, just doing it more. It is beyond equipment, form, all the do's and don'ts of ski instruction. Perhaps most important, powder skiing means getting away from the crowd to a place where there are no lines, no lift towers, no snow fences, no bodies in the way. Just snow. It's another world. One can never be bored by powder skiing because it's a special gift of the relationship between earth and sky. It only comes in sufficient amounts in particular places and at certain times on this earth. It lasts only a limited amount of time before sun or wind changes it. People devote their lives to it for the pleasure of being so purely played by gravity and snow. There is an experience of nothing when skiing powder, but the idea of nothingness in our culture is frightening, and we have no words for it. 
However, in Chinese Taoist thought, it's called the fullness of the void, out of which all things come. My experiences with powder snow gave me the first glimmerings of the further possibilities of mind. Your last run of the day is always a beer run. There literally is a run here called the Beer Run and it skis you right down to the lodges. If you happen to be on one of the many other runs here at the end of the day, there will always be a frosty, locally brewed beer waiting for you at the cab. Adding to the luxury here at Island Lake is this a hot tub and each of the four chalets has a unique one. Tonight it's underneath a starry sky. You know what? Another night it might be with powder falling on your face and it's all a fantastic way to finish your day here of powder skiing. Don't you think? <laughs> wow, it just doesn't get better than this. Amazing, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, Island Lake virtually defined the cat skiing experience back in the day. And, you know, great train. We had a ton of snow when we were here. Sure did. It never fails to deliver, and it sure did this time. It was absolutely epic, and sadly, that's the end of our trip. That's all the time we have. I'm Edith Rosa. This is Leslie Anthony, and we'll catch you on the slopes next time.